I wanted to make a, a quick uh, addendum video to the existing AVE videos that I recently published uh, because I've been getting a couple of questions from people in the field who are already working to deploy AVE. Uh, so the two major questions I get that I'll cover here is, can I V-motion with AVE? And of course the answer is yes, and I'll show it to you. Uh, and then the next question is, uh, what is the difference in DVS switching mode? So when I go to the EPG in ACI and I attach this AVE VMM domain, I have a choice of switching modes between AVE and native, uh, and I'll actually show you uh, what the difference is there as well. So answering the first question, vMotion with AVE, this is a, a refresher of my lab setup. This is a, not a production setup, but you can see I've got uh, ACI Multipod going on. Over here on the left, I've got ESX host 104 with an instance of AVE running. And behind that AVE, I've got a virtual machine called Win8 Gold. Uh, connectivity is all established and working. Over here in pod number two, I've got another host, ESX 108 with its own instance of AVE running and a VM behind it called Win8 Pod 2. And what I'm gonna show you really quick is just demonstrating uh, the vMotion of Win8 Pod 2 uh, from ESX 108 over to ESX 104 and prove that it works. So let me show you what my ACI setup looks like here. I've already uh, created an AVE uh, uh, EPG and I've got the VMM domain attached. Here are my two hosts. You can see Win8 Gold and Win8 Pod 2. There's their addresses. Just to prove that they are on different hosts, this is ESX 104, this is 108. Uh, you can see that they're physically connected to different leaves and different pods, uh, and everything is in fact ready to go. I'm gonna use the, the vCenter fat client because I'm much more com comfortable with it, and it actually vMotion is much easier to, uh, to demonstrate here. Uh, so uh, here's, here's the view of Win8 pod two. I'm gonna go ahead and start a ping to something in my in my ACI fabric across the layer three out just to get some traffic going. So I'll go ahead and start that. And I will make the migration here and I will change to host 104 and just click through the wizard. And you can see over here, uh, it is in progress. Uh, I do notice that sometimes the ping looks like it hangs, but traffic is still, is still flowing. Uh, as you can see, I just hit return and everything seems to go. Uh, in just a second, my vMotion will complete, and there you go. I think I end up, end up only losing one ping, uh, and everything uh, is back to normal. And I think that's just, you know, ACI reestablishing uh, connectivity uh, across multipod. But there you go. That's actually vMotion working uh, and proving to you that, uh, that AVE and vMotion are, in fact, usable and compatible. The second thing I want to finish up with is the, the switching options when you deploy AVE. So if you, if you remember this picture from the earlier videos, what happens is when we deploy AVE, we actually create a native VMware uh, VDS first, and then inside that VDS, we actually attach our, our AVE. Uh, and, and in the process of doing all of that, we create some uh, isolated PVLAN port groups. All of that should be well understood. It's covered in, in my previous videos. Um, if you remember in my ACI fabric, I created a, a VLAN block 900 to 910, and that's basically for any EPGs that use standard DVS integration, nothing to do with AVE. Uh, and then I created a sub pool, and you notice its role is marked internal of 500 to 540. This is the VLAN range that will be used by the isolated PVLAN port groups, right? So I've already created that, and it's covered in the other videos if you want to, if you want to see it. Uh, and then when I go to attach the AVE domain here, I've actually got a choice of switching mode, AVE or native. So what's the difference? Well, when you choose AVE, this means use the isolated PVLAN port groups, which will force traffic through the AVE so you can apply policy and all the security and micro-segmentation and visibility, all of the great stuff that AVE offers. But if you have a situation where you say, look, um, you know, I have a high performance application and in this example, like my database here and this high performance application, I don't want the AVE to somehow be a bottleneck or, 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 or to slow things down. I just kind of want it to go like normal. I don't, I don't, I want it to bypass AVE. So if you, when you deploy, uh, uh, when you attach the VMM domain to the EPG where the database server lives, you can select native, in which case all that does is really straightforward is it attaches you directly to the VDS in just like a normal, you know, uh, uh, VM and you will write up, you know, the, 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 the physical links, etc. just like normal. There's, there's no real difference there. And it's very easy to switch these back and forth and I'll, and, and I'll show it to you. 
So I have a, a new EPG here called Silver, and let's say Silver represents my database server where I'm going to put my database server. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach uh, the VMM domain that I created earlier for AVE, so standard stuff. So there's the VMM domain. And I am going to say native uh, switching mode here. So I'll go ahead and say native, and I will click Submit. So there we go. If I go over to vCenter, we will, in fact, see under the networking tab uh, here that I've got uh, my original AVE EPG. And let's just really quickly look at what VLANs it's using. So if I look at the networking, notice private VLANs, right? That's expected because these are for devices that are using the isolated P VLANs. If I look at the one that I just attached called Silver, and let's look at the uh, the port prepared. Now notice they're attached to the same VMware uh, DVS called VCAVE. If I look at the VLAN, notice it's VLAN 907. This is a normal VLAN coming out of my dynamic VLAN pool and ACI that I can use for standard, you know, ACI DVS kind of kind of networking. And that's exactly, you know, what I want to see.